Hi everybody, welcome back to Kathy's Quilt. This is Kathy speaking. <laughs> and I'm just kidding with you. Okay, um, today you should already have your borders all sewn on all the way around your quilt like I do here. Okay, add your border, go around. The whole entire quilt should have the border all the way sewn on. Add a quarter of an inch, if you look. Quarter of an inch. All the way around, okay? So today, I'm going to show you how to do the back, backing, batting, and the quilt top. Okay, this is your backing. This is well, my, the back of my quilt. Okay, and that goes down where the pretty side, and then this side goes on the top. Okay, because when we get done with it, it's going to be in the back. Okay, and here's your batting. This is the batting, as I already showed you. And here's your quilt top however big okay the the top should be anywhere from six inches to four inches away from your mine is six perfect but it can also be four it doesn't matter okay so we have it all put together here and we need to pin it Okay, I have some pins right here. Remember I showed you last week? They're curved pins made for binding your quilt. Okay, I don't have a table or floor or anything like that big enough for my quilt top. So I'm using my bed. Um, if you have a table or a floor, it would be better and because you can use tape to put the corners on and stuff like that but it's okay to do it like this too okay all we're going to do is we're just going to pin it <coughs> and stick it in there make sure we get all three layers okay about four fingers apart from each other all right so you can kind of eyeball it or whatever, however you want to do it. Okay, we're going to keep going. Okay, just a minute. I need to sit in the chair over here. It's easier. Okay. okay, we're going to keep going. All right, just whatever, you know, you guys think is best for you. Just make sure that you do get all of the three layers. That's not easy to do. Let me tell you. Because it will be a lot easier for you when you sew. Okay, we're just going to keep on going all the way down. Like that. Now, have you guys got the plastic pieces that I showed you last week in the tool, the quick... And, and put those plastics on it, it's a lot easier, but it's okay to do it this way too. Okay. I was kind of busy this week and didn't have a chance to put the plastic pieces on. So, I'm going to continue doing it like this. But see how I'm kind of eyeballing? Just eyeballing away, see how, where I think it might go. Like that. And we can go, I have that cardboard that I have underneath here. So you know you want to make another row. And go back. You can do that too. Just go like this. Okay. Kind of follow the ones that you have right there. The reason being for the, the to put it together like this, to hold it all, is because when you sew it, you're going to sew a quarter of an inch. And... On, on part of your border here you know all the way around and you want to keep it in place you want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and flat like mine periodically go back and smooth it out like this you know kind of like when you're sewing in the machine see how, see how smooth it is right here how nice you know you want to keep it like that because then that'll give you accurate when you sew your um top and everything together okay 
But this right here is your sandwich. You can see it right here. Backing, batting, top. See? Bread, bologna, bread. Remember I told you that in the very first video? Yeah. So, it's tedious work. It really is. And I don't think we're going to get done with this today. But um, next next week, it's really, really hot over here. I, I, I mean, it's hot. And we have no air conditioning anywhere. And I'm trying to do the best I can. But it, it is very, very hot right now. I think it's 85 degrees out. The wind's blowing, but it's not blowing in here. <clears throat> Unfortunately. So, I'm doing the best that I can with. Now, I did say, too, if you have pens. Just a minute, let me get the pens. And you don't have the safety pens. Okay, if you have your pens, whatever ones, is it the pearl ones or the, you know, this one like I have, the flathead one, you can pin, you can do the same thing. Okay, just go like this. Make sure you grab all three pieces, and you can tell if you're getting it because it'll be really, really thick, okay? Very thick for you, versus just, you know, one or two. So, do it like this, and... I didn't get it, but that time I did. And if you want to make sure, lift up your stuff and look. See? I got mine. Right there? Right here. So, it, it, what it, however you want to do it. Okay. Um, when we go to sew the quarter of an inch around our border, we're going to, um, after we get done sewing it, we're going to uh, put the winter clips in it to keep it nice and straight how we want it to be. And then probably we're going to do the binding after that. And we're almost done. Almost done with our quilt, guys. I mean, not much more. Yay! This, the sewing it the binding and if you want to do different uh, you know like what's that called designs in your quilt I can show you I don't know a lot of them but I do know a couple of them I can show you how to do that and that helps to keep it together but if you still if you sew all four around like this I've got a lot of quilts and they or just like that. I think I only did one that has a design in it. And that's what a long arm person would do for you. They would do the uh, design on your whole quilt. That'll run you about 800 to $1,000. But um, it is pretty. It's, you know, they, they do a good job. It's just not anything that I will ever do. Because I, I can do it myself. And you can watch videos on how to do it too if you want. If you're not sure. But um, I can show you. You need the proper feet. And things like that to do it with. Um, but. See how quickly this goes once you get going. I mean. I've almost got. I think this, this one's broken. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to go on down. It, it just moves along real quick. Real fast. <clears throat> Once it gets going. Then you get those ones that are stuck together with each other. That's weird. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my, my uh, allergies. Uh, again. <clears throat> okay. I gotta move to a different part of the country, I think. Get out of California. 
My allergies are getting really bad. Hey, maybe move somewhere that has an air conditioner. There you go. Huh. Wow. Okay. So you see? See how I've got all these all... Just continue going down. You know, all the way to, to the end. All the way throughout your whole quilt. Okay? Whatever size quilt you're doing, it doesn't matter. But just make sure that all the way throughout the whole thing. And then next week, this is a short video because it's so simple. Next week, um, I'll show you how to go ahead and sew the border. Okay, and then when we get done with that, how to cut the, the excess off that we're not going to use. Okay, then I'll show you how to put the binding on. I don't know if we'll be, if we'll have time to sew the binding on, but I will show you how to put it on. And... If you don't want a binding, what you can do, I did this on a couple of my quilts, okay? I went and I cut this part off, the batting, okay? And then you just bring this forward. You, you kind of go like that so that it's nice. And you bring it like that and you add it to your quilt. And you sew all the way down. But... That's if you don't want to use the binding. The binding makes it look more professional, um, a lot easier, you know, to get it done. It just makes it look a lot better. But you can do it that way. Before I got binding, that's how I did it. And it looks just fine. And it's holding up just fine. So it's, it's totally up to you. Um, just... For now, continue to pin your whole quilt all the way around and then fold it up nice and neat and we will continue next week, okay? Thank you for coming to Kathy's Quilt. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends. Remember, we want to get more people out there to know what's going on. So. I can do more quilts because the next one I want to do is the log cabin. I think you guys will really enjoy it. The log cabin is fun. So, since we're almost done with this one, um, there's a ruler that you can get at Quilt in a Day. Let me show you so we can get it in advance. Okay. Um, This is called the Log Cabin Ruler. It tells you exactly what to do. You put your, that's for the middle of it, and then your first one would be, the strip would be right here. Okay, and your second one would be like that. It always starts here and then goes all the way down, like that. Okay. I don't want to confuse you guys, but go ahead and get this and get some jelly rolls. Jelly rolls are the, the, I have jelly rolls. I thought I showed it to you. Um, not sure where, where they're at right now, but jelly rolls are the ones that are rolled in a, in a like a circle type thing, and they're two and a half inches, and that's perfect for this. But you can always cut your own material if you want. You can always cut at two and a half. That that's fine too. I, I'm just saying if you want to get a certain jelly roll or you know, that that's perfect for your log cabin. That's what I use. So, okay. I think that's, you know, get, oh, and get the log cabin book from her also. It's not that expensive. Log cabin is the first thing she ever did way back in the 70s. I think 75, 78, I don't know, something like that. So, it's Quilt in the Day, Eleanor Burns. She's the only one that has the ruler. 
and her book is very informative. So, okay, thank you for watching Kathy's Quilt. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, share, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll get any notifications I may have. And please share with your friends. Please let them know what's going on. I love to teach. Um, I love to make quilts. So please, 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 please share and tell your friends. Okay, thank you. Y'all have a great week, okay? And I'll see you next weekend. Bye for now.